Our next step will be to model the arm. Our first step is to create a new sketch. Before I do that, I want to just orient you to the layout sketch. Right now it's in an isometric view. So we're going to come and select on the front view. Now it's in the same orientation that it was when we created the layout sketch. Come over here to sketch, create sketch. It's going to now want me to select a planar face. I will select the front plane. Let me just move the layout sketch down so we can see what we're doing. Okay, the next step is to create a slot. Come in here and select the center to center slot tool. Now before I begin sketching, I would like to talk about a technique that I always use. I always create my geometry first, then add sketch constraints, followed by dimensions. So that's the order I will create my geometry in. First, create the slot. After that, come and select the constraints I want to add. So I want to make that point and that point on the layout sketch coincident, that point on the slot, and that point on the layout sketch coincident. At this point then I would like to add dimensions. So I can do that by right clicking, dragging into the left. That will give me the quick dimension tool. Dimension that to 25 millimeters. Now that I have a fully defined sketch, I can exit my sketch, come over to my create, extrude, select the profile, and in this instance I'm going to select symmetric in a distance of 10 millimeters. Now I'm going to create the holes in the arm. To do that I won't need to create an additional sketch. This time I'm going to select the face of the arm. Zoom in here so you can see exactly where I'm getting to on the layout sketch. So I'm going to come in here and select a point because the point the, the hole tool will require points to define the center of the holes. So to do that I'm going to select this point and this point. Then say stop sketch. From there I'm going to create hole. Now in the hole command there's uh, you can either have a single point or uh, multiple holes. Uh, we're going to do the multiple holes at this point. Do a simple hole and then I'm going to select the points that I previously created. Now I'm just going to go into an isometric view so you can see what's going on here. So now this is defining the the depth of my hole. Now I could just pull this out here and be lazy and just say you know 29 millimeters and and be done. But anytime that you're you're creating geometry, you're creating these features, you want them to be uh, robust in the sense that if I were to change the thickness of the arm, these holes would update accordingly. Often, often this is referred to as the design intent. And so the design intent of these holes is to go all the way through the arm. So to do that, rather than having the extents be distance, I'm going to just uh, select all. Alternatively, I could also come and say two and then select the back face of the arm. But at this point, I'm going to select all and OK. So now if we go back to our front view, you can see that we've now created the holes in the, the appropriate place for the arm. Before moving on to the next component, I wanted to show the reason why we're using the layout sketch. So if I zoom out a little bit, grab hold of the layout sketch and move it, you can see now that the arm dynamically updates according to where I am dragging that hole. Now, as I complete additional pieces of the toggle clamp, you'll see those components update as well.